Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Regalia of Minute and Monarchs. This is a role-playing turn-based strategy game because, of course, I seem to love those right now. Um, about building up your own kingdom, and that's about all I know because that's effectively what was on the store page. So I have no idea what this game is actually about or what it's going to play like or anything like that. So let's see what we can get into here. Going on settings, there is supposedly voice. Um, I've turned the music way the fuck down because, listen to this. Okay, this is not a good section of representative. But anyway, the music is fucking loud, alright? So, I realize it's thematic and everything, but it was just way too freaking loud. Turn the sound effects volume down a bit. Turn the ambient volume down a bit. And we should be okay. I don't know, I mean the voice volume... It's sort of tell what's being voiced. I don't think it's actually a voiced game, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna actually... By this, let me, let me actually turn the voice or turn the volume up just a little bit. I mean, I don't know if that's gonna matter at all. Like sixty percent, maybe. If they overwhelm me, I'll be upset. But I don't know yet. I have no idea. Okay. So, use your pixelated melt. Uh, there's settings in here. One of the settings: difficulty in battles. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to move in battle. I mean, these are all these are all defaults right here. I have no idea. Customize, yeah, sure, you could do that. Except, why would you? Why would you? I don't understand. I'm gonna leave this as is. I have heard the game is super easy, but that's from like consummate professionals who know what the hell they're doing. I am not consummate or professional. So we're going to leave all these as is, and we're just starting a new game. Okay, I'm going to go for normal. Story mode's probably a little bit too easy. We'll go normal here. Yeah, let's not go crazy. Normal, let's go. Friendly fire is a thing. Okay, good first tip. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Our story begins in the Rashtil Expanse. Where the wind races across empty plain. Okay, there is voice work. It is a sad, hostile land. A wild frontier and a gateway to lands unknown. In ages past, Rashtil had a heart. The city-state of Ascalia, ruled by the great house Loran. Indeed, over centuries, it came to be known as the gem in the realms. Earning respect from all races under the sun. But the Crusades changed that. Attracting the ire of its neighbors, Ascalia was lost to the flames of war. With its marble bones laid to rest, the city has slept ever since, until now. Slept? The city has slept? In a distant country, a father lies on his deathbed. For his entire life, he has kept a secret. Yet now, the truth is finally revealed. His only son, Kay, learns that Ascalia belongs to his family, the noble house Lauren. As the sole remaining heir, it is his destiny to face that heritage, to restore the ancestral kingdom. Fuck Aided you, Dad. by his two sisters and a trusty bodyguard, young Kay sets out on a journey to the Rashtil Expanse, to Ascalia. Like, the legend is the about hell? to be retold. Like, what the hell? Dad, you've been totally... Yeah, what the actual hell? You've been totally just ignoring your duty for your entire life. And it's like, oh yeah, by the way... By the way, this is your job now. You're actually king, and um, sorry about that. <laughs> like, what the hell? Why didn't you do anything? Okay, like, maybe we'll find out. Maybe it requires, I don't know, young blood or something. Hello, my name is Gwendolyn Loren. I guess I'll have to be your guide here. Do me a favor and at least try to read these pop-ups. Perhaps you'll learn something. Yeah, okay, sure. I'm going to try to learn. Read tutorials. Have get through the dialogue by clicking on your mouse button. Hey, what a novel concept. You can skip cutscenes easily by pressing spacebar. Okay, so we're probably not going to be doing that unless the cutscenes are really annoying. Hopefully they're not. Hopefully they're actually engaging. If you do so, you'll be given a brief summary of what happened afterwards. Cutscenes require you to make a choice. Cannot be skipped in this way. All right, then... Okay, well, I appreciate there is a method most of the time. 
but not always. All right. I mean, at least they tried. Okay, got it. And so, on a promise made on the father's dying breath, our hero arrives to fulfill his destiny. Okay. This is what we saw from the trailer. In the trailer. For great justice! Really? Really? Wait, but that's not our hero. See the bad guy? Kind of funny. Or he must be the bodyguard. This is our hero. He looks very tired. I can't feel my legs. Steal yourself, young master. We're almost at the castle. Right. <laughs> this place is a mess. Not quite what I was expecting. Ah, but surely you aim to restore this place to glory, young master. You are, after all, its rightful ruler. Well... I mean, well. What do you come all the way over here if you just want to say well? The answer there is yes, of course. What a terrible, terrible dump. Glorious kingdom, my ass. Remind me, whose idea was it to come here again? Apparently Griffiths. Actually, I'm pretty sure both of you insisted. Come on, sis. Isn't this exciting? It's like we're heroes of a book on an adventure or something. A mm, little bit too late for Buffy speak there, Elaine, but all right, I appreciate your, your enthusiasm. <sighs> well, I suppose we may as well try to salvage something from this terrible misunderstanding of a trip. Uh, salvage? Onwards, minions, to the castle. Maybe there's something valuable left, at least. Minions? Is she the oldest? Because she might be a queen now. The ancestral city turns out to be little more than ruins. Our heroes head for the main course, the family castle. Why would you go for the castle first? Three roaming scenes like this one. You have direct control over K. Press the mouse button anywhere on the screen to walk. Press the mouse button twice to run instead. Press on a character to approach them to start a conversation. You can exit all three roaming screens by clicking on an icon that I don't see. Or maybe it'll appear up later. To pan the camera, hold the middle mouse button and drag your mouse. That's kind of a weird way to pan, but okay. I've marked all the exits in the scene with a large gold arrow. Think you can handle it? Don't get lost now. Oh, okay. No, I see him. I see him. In Regalia, you can only save your game in fixed spots. Your town is one of those. You can save your game progress in the settings menu. I hate, I hate, I hate only being able to save from fixed spots. Hopefully that doesn't matter too much. But maybe they're trying to keep it like XCOM and like you have them your main base. And they only want you to save in the base because they don't want you save scumming inside any of the missions. So, okay, if that's true, then it might be one mission, one episode, but we'll see. Okay, save your game progress the menu, clicking the circle in the upper right corner. Okay, I see it. Or press an escape will enable you to access the appropriate option. All right, there are other places where you can save your game, but we'll explain those later. For now, try to exit your current screen. Got it. And yep, I can totally do it. In fact, let's go ahead and save right now. Save completed. Da, 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 da. All right, good. And cancel. All right. Your quests have been updated. Awakening. All right. Okay, so there, yeah, there are markers on either side here. They all say to the town. All right. I, for some reason, I expected to be able to WASD. I don't know why I thought that. These are all to the town. I guess various points of the town, but it's got to say, like, which part of town. Oh, we can talk to Elaine. Hello, Elaine. Oh, this isn't voiced. All right. What am I complaining? But she was very keen on coming here, too, right? <laughs> It'll be okay. Trust me. Good things are rarely easy. All right. Good advice. Um, that looks like the only person we can talk to now, so I guess we'll go north? Oh, I hit tab. Hold on. Character sheet displays detailed information about the chosen character. While certain attribute values may increase with experience level, it's up to you to fill the gaps with proper customization. Pressing mouse button on weapon entering its slots allow you to swap a character's equipment. Okay, that's pretty standard. Weapon types are strictly assigned to specific characters. Trinkets are universal can be equipped by anybody. Oh, okay. So, like, K might have only long swords because there's no way Gwyn is going to handle that, right? 
but maybe Gwyn's a mag magic user, and Kay would know the right end of a wand if you gave him a tutorial and a map. So, right, okay, now that makes sense. Each character can be modified for the modified by perks. These are shared between all your characters, can be unlocked through various in-game activities like personal bonds, diplomacy, and so on. I don't understand that entirely, but okay. Pressing mouse button on an empty perk slot will open the perk selection menu. Each perk has a fixed equipment cost, representing the amount of perk slots it will take. Okay, this is kind of a weird comparison, but since I'm playing Battletech right now, it's a little bit like equipment. The perks are a little bit like equipment on a hard point in a mech warrior. Maybe. My thinking. Or a battle mech itself, actually. Okay, more perk slots are gained with experience levels. A level up increases the amount of available slots by one. Okay, you can change your perks here. I mean, we don't really have much in the way of perks here, but okay. And your weapon and trinkets here. Right now we have a short sword and a pistol. Okay. Party level. Instead of individual level ups, your party gains experience as a whole. That's actually kind of awesome. And hopefully that fixes the whole problem with party members not gaining experience. In that case, the whole group kind of goes up and it's like more like managerial experience rather than individual. I kind of like that. That's a good idea. Okay. I mean, obviously we're all level one right now. So what? You can change the visuals. These are all locked right now. Yeah, they take 140 whatever. So it's like microtransactions inside the game, but I don't think it requires real money. Okay, these probably are unlocked. Funny, they're by ink. So we must gather the ink somehow somewhere else. All right. 5% negative effects resistance. Okay. All right. I mean, we can... We have an empty slot, but we have no available perks right now. So this is the way that goes. We can look at various things here. Okay, so this is a very familiar screen. We've seen this in basically any RPG. Personal bonds. Spend your time with your characters. Each in character has days where you can pursue their personal bond stories, indicated by exclamation mark over their heads. By gaining relationship points and advancing personal bond levels, you unlock unique benefits related to the character in question. Most common way of gaining RP. Yeah, okay. So relationship points, also role-playing points. You know, in most tabletop games, the GM will give you additional experience points um, just for role-playing. I think that's basically where they got this from, but okay. You just, to do so, choose the spend time option for the character's conversation menu. Whenever you have enough points to advance the next personal bond level, a unique storyline cutscene will trigger. During these cutscenes, you'll be able to influence case choices, possibly gain extra RP in the process. Okay, so basically, you can get good stuff by paying attention to your NPCs. All right, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, and you actually, they tell you exactly what you get. That's actually a little unusual to tell you exactly what you get. Griffith's our only guy now, but I'm guessing this will fill up because there's tons of space here at the bottom. All right, down. You can displays your list of all constructible buildings in your current resource pool. Okay, this is probably jumping ahead a little bit, but okay. Resources used for both construction and crafting items, so be smart about spending them. Construction of new buildings will be ordered through selecting an appropriate option in your castle. After being constructed, each building will be upgraded to higher levels, which is often an important requirement to progress in a character's personal bond. Building's current level. Zero means yet to be constructed. Press the mouse button on this icon to see the building's construction upgrade costs. Okay, so you can do like town square, placeholder in. And appear. So those are the only three buildings that actually exist right now. The other ones are all level zero, so they don't exist. They sound cool. Like Pathfinder Study, Alchemist Lab, Prospector's Safe House. Why would a prospector need a safe house? Okay, anyway. Big Tower. Dialect DLC. Okay, apparently I have the DLC. I didn't even know it. Okay, sure. Diplomacy. The diplomacy screen here you can track your reputation with the neighboring nations like with personal bonds increasing your reputation will unlock unique faction benefits just perks faction reinforcements and even party members oh that sounds actually kind of awesome like alfimi here looks freaking great i love her look that's actually great shadu looks like you know typical black mage type of stuff oh lordomar looks kind of cool too i like the feathers coming off of his shoulder pads and the Empire, um, who just has regular old dwarves. Okay, but that's interesting. 
Okay, and then Codex is... Okay. Wow. Okay, there's, like, deep lore here. Holy shit, like a creation myth. That's amazing. I'm not going to redo this right now, but oh my god. There's some deep fucking lore. All right, and then the Long Winter is a continuation of that creation myth. Holy crap. Okay, so let's get out of this. Let's go to town. Character's unique passive ability to detect it to play style. Be sure to keep that in mind as you plan your move. I don't know exactly what that means. Where the line of sight, you can't kill what you can't see. That's a good tip. That makes sense. Unless you're an archer, maybe? Okay, so you can leave the town square and then click where you want to go inside the town. I get it. I get it. Obviously, we're going to go to castle first. Out of arbitrary line of sight rules, hold L during battle display which obstacles block your vision. That's a great little feature. No fixed pattern in action to turn. You can move or attack in any order. Alright, hey guys. Not much of an improvement. Yeah, this castle is a little bit of a fixer upper. Ugh, don't remind me. Loot and scoot, boys. What does that mean exactly? You just want to go and just strip the stuff off the walls and leave? What kind of adventurers are you? Are you the type who builds stuff up or you murder hobos? Well, at least she has her priorities straight. You, do you really think so? I don't think she does. Really, you're just gonna go grab stuff off the walls? Look, young master, such exquisite pieces of armor. <laughs> um, I can't do anything yet. Hold on. Aha! No, wait, rat poop. What did she? Hold on. What did she think it was? Just out of curiosity. I must say, the inhabitants must have had a remarkable grasp on. What's this, big bro? Just some tea I found in a pot nearby. You... what? No. Okay, that must mean there's somebody else here, right? If it's actually... If it's actually tea. Tastes like dust and ashes, but, you know, it's still tea, right? It's only... I don't know. I was going to say it's only tea if it's warm, but that's not true at all. Wait, what? You do realize that you just poured stuff from an urn. An urn? Did he just drink an ancestor? Is that what he just did? As in literal ashes. So there's no actual water in that at all. So Kay's just an idiot. And nobody can say anything, because I'd be shocked too. Oh shit. Oh my, 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 <laughs> You, the one with the dire need of a haircut. That is a narrowed down. What have you done to my remains? That isn't even remotely narrowed down. These all, all these guys in your haircut. Griffith does. Kay does. I mean, Gwyn. It's quaffed, but it really does. Elaine, though. Elaine's got her hair done pretty well. I like her hair. Well, apparently, I have drank them. This is an outrage! My rest interrupted! My remains defiled! Prepare for severe punishment! <laughs> Just kidding. How are you doing? Really? He's not upset? Well, I mean... I don't know. Would I be upset? I'm trying to think if there was like an afterlife. And I was done with my body. It had been cremated and put into an urn. Would I be upset? I don't know. I mean, I'm attached to my body now, like literally in the most literal sense possible. But if I'm like a spirit and I no longer need it, it's kind of like, you know, if my clothes had been taken by somebody else and instead of like wearing them, they decided that... And there's no analogy here that fits, right? They decided to pee on them instead, right? Like, okay, wait a minute. What are you, the hell are you doing, first of all? But, you know, because that's just not a good thing to do to clothes in general, right? Why are you peeing on clothes? But I also understand you have a need to relieve yourself somewhere, somehow. It's just kind of weird, you know? But, all right, I don't know. I don't know. It's very strange. I don't... It's a weird joke, but all right. I... what? 
Don't go vote on me, son. You're the one who drank my ashes, so you know. Some manners, eh? Maybe an introduction? I... That a thing? Do you often wander into other fellas' households, slurping their debtors? Hmm? To be fair, he could be dead for a while, so he might not know. There might be a custom like that. You know, if he's been dead for like 300 years, that's easily enough time for some weird ideas to get into people's heads about what's proper and what isn't. This is Kay of House Lauren, heir apparent to this revered establishment. Ghost or no, respect is in order. Oh, that's a great rolling of the R's. Respect, that's great. I'll have to try to remember to do that. That's fantastic. Uh, but... Oh, ho, 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 ho. so you're a Lauren, Sonny. Funny story. That would make me your grandfather. Desideratus of House Lauren, at your service. Desideratus? Were your parents drunk? What the hell kind of name is Desideratus? Did they call you Desiree for short? I mean, it doesn't actually match the first part of your name, but holy shit, that's quite the name. Oh, I imagine being dead limits my options. Yeah, for instance, can you actually shake hands? Is this real life? Maybe not. So, heir apparent, is it? Good for you. I thought you'd be taller and bulkier. And, you know, smarter. That ashes stuff? Big no-no. Rocky start, my boy. Look. Anyway, since I'm already here, might as well help you get right on track, hmm? Fetch me the castellan. What's the castellan? Oh, joy. Do you not realize the state of the castle? Is he blind? I don't think there's one left around. Bullshit, son. We Laurens are proud folk. And this... This... Oh. Uh, it's been a while since he manifested, huh? Oh. Uh, just what the hell happened here? This place is a dump! At least he agrees, of all people. Seriously, what have you people done to the castle? Is it that bad? What about the village? You really don't want to look at the village. This ain't right. This ain't right at all. But you're the heir. You'll be putting all of this back together? Well, indeed, noble spirit. As we live and breathe, we shall see to it that young master will bring... Uh, uh... Look, I'm sorry about the ashes, and I appreciate the offer, I really do, but we came here looking for a family estate, not ghosts and ruins. Nobody expected this. This is crazy. But you're the heir. Sorry, this just won't work out. But that must... Wait, where are you going? Kay. Kay. A little bit overwhelmed. Wait, you lot! Done with you? Ugh. Kids these days. Is there a dumb decision summons the coast of taste? Okay. Well, okay, they did give us a summary. If I wanted to skip that, I suppose it was possible. Oh, hey guys. What was that all about? I needed to collect my thoughts. I do like that the char the character sprites emote. As they're talking, that's a neat little touch. Sure looked like a temper tantrum to me. It's just too much, you know? One day we're heirs to an ancient city. Then it turns out that there's nothing left standing and that the whole errand was pointless. And last but not least, there's a crazy ghost who wants us, me, to rebuild this place as if I'm some sort of king. You do know you kind of stepped into that one yourself. So what is your plan, young master? We're leaving this place. But- We're not heroes. We may be of House Lauren, but so what? This place is ancient history, nothing more. Did someone say House Lauren? Well, there's people just waiting in the woodwork all over the place. Oh, cruel time! Oh, this is the first well fight? Met. With whom do I have the pleasure? He's got frickin' style for days. Look at this guy. And the lines on that's just. It's, I'm just damn impressed. Is this the villain? Because I'm damn fucking in love, practically. <laughs> How rude to demand the name of another before introducing oneself. I don't know. It depends on your status, right? I mean, if you're the king, kind of just expect people to know who you are, and then that means that they introduce themselves, and you'll never need to actually say your name. But, okay. I mean, 
If you're equals, though, I could I can understand. She's probably right. Very well. The lady has a point. Okay, see, now we're on the same page, Mr. Baldman. Walter Crucy, I represent the furtive. Ah, uh, see, you gone and ruined it with the name. Walter? Really? Walter Crucy? Now, see, you just dropped like 20,000 points in my estimation. I mean, that puts you at like still somewhere in, you know, the top 10, but still. Bad name. The Furtive Union? I take it you are not familiar with our organization, then. I mean, why would you name yourself the Furtive Union also? You just dropped another, like, maybe... No. Like 5,000 points? It's not, not a good day for you. Speaking concisely, we are men of business. Sometimes we invest, sometimes we lend. But mostly, we reclaim goods deemed impossible to vindicate. He's a loan shark. Again, dropped further in my estimation. Well, okay, well that was a quick little love affair. Still though, he's got great style, right? So you're debt collectors. Yeah, debt collectors, loan sharks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, trolls are the muscle, all right. Correct, more or less. But that still leaves us in the dark over your identity. Or your rather puzzling presence in this God's forsaken place. You were not supposed to be here. We're not? He also looks upset. I do like the the art here. Great. So what, does he own this place and he let it go in disrepair? That's just bad management, really. Well, I do not like your tone. This is Kay, heir to House Lauren, inheritor of Ascalia, the rightful master of this city. If anyone remains the intruder, it is your entourage, Mr. Crucy. What do you go, Griffith? Very diplomatic. Is that true? You are the heir, young man? By the gods, Griffith. You would doubt our word? Well, your word, Griffith, but yeah, maybe. Interesting. That is an excellent turn of events. We shall kill two birds with one stone. Oh? Regretfully, I have to inform you that your holdings and possessions back home have been confiscated. What? What? How the hell? If you truly are Kay of House Lauren, then by virtue of law, you have also inherited the obligations placed upon this land. Monetary obligations. So take the land, dude. What the hell's stopping you? There's nobody here. Obligations? In short, your ancestors have left you a rather staggering debt, my lord. Show me. What? How is that even possible? The zeros need a separate sticker to fit on paper. I am afraid that for all their prestige and renown, your grandsires appear to have been rather indulgent people, my lord. Shall we proceed with the execution? But, but I don't have that kind of money. That is unfortunate. Also ironic, given their wealth of history here. I can't believe it. All of this, the whole city, lost because of a debt? Why, no. It got destroyed during the Crusades. The debt, you see, is an older development. The Crusades? But enough angsting over history. Business first. Let me introduce you to my assistants. How is roughing these guys up gonna help you get your money back? Mr. Knight, what are you doing? You will not harm them. Please, we are civilized people. Punching, albeit enjoyable, would give us little benefit, at least for now. The truth remains, however, that you indeed seem unable to procure funds. Thus, I propose a deal. A deal? You are a king right now, young man. Of sorts. Your title still has hold in rash till. People respect it, and respect is money. I propose you seize what chance you have. Rebuild this city of yours. Revitalize it. Is this a trick? <laughs> Why would it be? Consider it an investment of trust on our part. And if I refuse? You seem to have misunderstood my position, my lord. It is not an if, not a but, 
Not a maybe. Do it, or payment shall be extracted through different means. Considerably less pleasurable, if I may add. <coughs> Big bro. I am a reasonable man. We shall split the debts into parts, each to be paid in regular intervals. Would that be acceptable? You're asking us to do the impossible. No, we are asking you to do the improbable. But this is a chance now, one surely worth taking. I urge you to act as soon as possible. Time is money, and you cannot afford to waste it, my lord. And this is our cue to leave. The accord has been reached, nothing else remains to be said. Soon, I will contact you through mail. I bid you farewell. But this is insane! The deadline is approaching. Tick tock, tick tock. Are you all right, big bro? Give me a minute. Okay. Thoughts? Isn't it obvious? It's not like we have any other options. Yeah, the GM really wants to railroad this one. Yeah. Did... Did they really sell Dad's estate? That's evil! Does it change anything? Wasn't Master K planning to make his ancestors proud anyway? Um, no. Were you paying attention? He was planning on leaving. Well, technically... Uh, you know what? Never mind. No, go on. How do you feel about this? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like this one bit. Aside from the debt thing, whoever or whatever should be doing spring cleaning here, it's not me. Not us. But then comes the debt thing. And we don't really have any choice anymore. I hate it. We must. Damn it. This is so depressing. Annoying, more like. What's the big deal? Can't hurt to try. And you have that alleged grandfather to help us, right? Oh, that's true. I have completely forgotten about him. I do not expect him to be happy about the debt. No, he won't be. But that's not going to be the worst part of the conversation. Ah, uh, oh well. To the castle, then. Off we go to beg and moan. Yay. And that's how it went. Hmm. Nasty buggers, them FUs. Yeah, okay. I'm just stuck on the acronym there. Hold on. Hold on. I'm over it. So it looks like you'll be needing my help after all, eh? Ah, oh. <laughs> funny how it works. I'm pretty sure the debt's your fault, Grandad, so what are you gonna do about it? Yes, the irony is not lost on us. Just tell me what to do. Let me see. Hmm. You gotta rebuild. But, I mean, there has to be a process to it. A king ain't a king with no people to lord over, yeah? So that's the first thing. Get someone to move here. Any pair of hands would be a resource right now. Also, perhaps it'd be worth looking into that whole debt business, you know? What do you mean? That loan shark ain't exactly what I'd call the most trustworthy person around. What you got was scraps, and we need facts. Rits, documents, the whole story, my boy. He's got a point. We only have the loan shark's word that there is actually a debt to be done there, right? If there's actually, like, legal... I don't know. If they went to a loan shark, though, the chances of anything being, like, on the up and up ever would be quite the, quite the surprise, honestly. Call me a sentimental dead sod. I can't imagine my kiddos ruining the kingdom over money. That might just be sentiment. They could have been morons. I mean, if Kay's any example, just saying. Crusy mentioned wars. Crusades. There you go. Something worth looking into, hmm? Ah, uh, and Sonny, you're not alone. Those sisters of yours? That stern-looking chap? You're all House Lauren. Do not try to think everything through by yourself. You have four heads. Use them. Um, five if we count you, Grandpa, unless you're planning on going somewhere. And there's you. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Kay. Oh, right. About that. I'm hopping in. Huh? Don't harm me, boy. Like it or not, technically, I'm inside you now. Ew. And this means our fates are tied, for now. And believe me, 
You'll need me. Oh, yes. In other words, you'll be lugging me around wherever you go. Oh, gods. Oh, just kidding, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. My spirit is bound to these walls, likely for good. Funny shame, that. I would love to see how the world's changed over all these centuries. What was it like back then, Grandpa? Uh, probably nicer if you don't count the gnomes. I'll tell you some other time. Cool. The gnomes. But the gnomes are still around. They are? <sighs> I knew it, them business-savvy midgets. They don't play you faster than a gambler with a stacked deck. That's great. Irritating and bipolar, I see. Gwen? Now, I may be a racist old codger who has mixed feelings about them gnomes, but they know their stuff, and you do need their stuff. They like fantastic accountants because that could really get us upon the above board. Which is? Surely you've heard. Pretty much everything they touch turns to gold. And you need gold, no? You're gonna need trade routes. And they're born tradesmen, sonny. If anyone can help you make the coin flow again, it's them. As much as it cramps my spectral butt to say so. That's such a weird little phrase you've thrown out there in the last sentence. I see. Right. Time to get to work. Oh, one more thing. Before you do anything, Sonny, have you, uh, taken a good look around? Castle's a mess. Unless you want to be king for dust mites, I'd suggest the four of you grab a mop and declutter it. No way in hell I'm going to clean. I, uh, I'm allergic to dust. Gee, thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh... What exactly would be cleaning? You know, simple things. Spiderweb, rubble, dust mites. Rats. By the gods, that one's huge and ugly. Talks as the brood mother of these things. Or if it flies. Why would it why would it fly? Oh, for the love of You're really talking about this right now? Just hit it, hit it. Okay, so this is our first battle. Alright. Here's your attack by the skittering denizens of the castle. Sure. Go. Beat all enemies. No kidding. Okay, this is your list of available characters. Press a mouse button on them on the portrait, then press mouse button in the blue tile to deploy them. Pressing right mouse button will cancel your last choice. Alright, that makes sense. So, okay, so we need to deploy them. So I can like click you and put you here, I guess. And you're gonna go on the opposite side. Wheel of Fate is turning. So that probably depends on initiative. Okay. During activation, each combatant can move and perform an action in any order. Commands can move multiple times during an activation as long as they have movement points remaining. However, commands can only perform one action per activation. This means either using a skill or an item. You're done in case activation by pressing spacebar. Ignore all the bells and whistles for now. Focus on moving your characters forward, perhaps using the skill tree to get the feel of them. Like there's... Okay, how far with the available actions here? I'm assuming the purple... No, I think with the available actions, no, because movement would be A. Yeah, so they mean actually the blue bar, right? And then the purple bar is hovering over skill icons. will display extensive information about the highlighted skill. It's damage, range, cooldown period, possible ongoing effects. Enter your selection by pressing right mouse button, okay? So we can move around. And that's going to happen by default. So I guess we might as well move forward here. We have no idea what their movement allowance is. We know what their shield what their shield and health is like. Oh no, there we go. We do know their movement allowance. So what I don't want is I don't want to um I don't want them to get the first attack. I wanna be able to move make it so that they can't get to me yet. So the brood mother might be in Yeah, might be able to do something there. Okay, so you have Oh, you can shoot somebody. Yeah, let's shoot somebody. I mean, you can't shoot anybody. I can't shoot anybody. No shooting allowed, huh? And command. Nope, not actually. He's just a little bit out of range. All right, no line of sight matters. That's why that. Okay, I got you. I got you. Inspire for two turns. Sure, why not? We'll inspire. Take this else to do. 
And that's it then. I can get a bonus action, but I don't think it's necessary. We'll just end. Oh, there's a third guy back there. I didn't even see him. All names? Edifon, Ebers. Yeah, these guys have names. Okay. At your side. Can't quite get up to him. Like we have dynamic entry. Moves to the target. If it's an enemy, deal 7% of base damage is physical. 10% for each tile move through. If it's an ally, applies fleet for two turns. Reminds. Okay, so we can use this and approach this guy. Let's do that. No target to use a skill on. We. Oh, he's just outside of range. Okay, but that's that's okay. That's okay. We just move up a little bit here. And then we use this. That was a total whiff, mm -hmm. so good going there. Skillful. Yeah, skillful. Sure. And I think we're done. Oh, the broodmother goes. Alright. Access leaves the palace of Leave what? this to me! Okay. Well, you can see your combatants' current health and shield values and regalia health cannot be replenished during combat in any way. Instead, combatants gain temporary shields, which allow them to absorb income and damage. Since shields are depleted for help, in order to generate them preventively using skills and items. Rather, there are numerous ways to bypass shields, and they are available mostly to your enemies. Hey, life ain't fair. Okay, then. So... And rend. Remember, I can attack and then move or move and then attack but that's or move and then action so let's see i can shoot this guy um granting shields does seem like a really good idea so can i do that what i can you will not fall that gives you shields and then so that's my attack move so to speak so then I'm going to run over here and make sure you don't get flanked. And yeah, that'll do it. Okay, hit the shields first. That's great. I like the sneeze is their attack. That's pretty funny. Going to attack. Yeah, okay. Wow. All right. The time right, is now. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Rest and strike. 80% of base damage is ice. Or we just freaking hit things. Boisterous challenge. Applies taunted and blinded for two turns to the target enemy. You raise the chance to hit on all skills by 25%. Force to attack the inflictor. Like. No, I can only taunt like a specific guy. Which is good for, like, the Broodmother, maybe, but... Hoping for doing, like... Yeah, here we go. Do it this and hit everybody. No quarter. There you go. Oh, I did... Yeah, uh, friendly fire's a thing. Totally friendly fire's a thing. Shit. Okay, well, we can't move. There's nowhere to move to, so that's it. Okay, I think he just weakened his own guy, though? Okay. You might already notice your skills involve more than just headbutting stuff. Skills may apply positive or negative ongoing effects to your targets. They're always displayed in the bottom of the skills tooltip. Tool tip. Passive abilities are special types of ongoing effects that are unique to each combatant. Their infinite duration typically reflect a combatant's playstyle. All ongoing effects currently affecting combatant are shown here. Also, where you find a combatant's passive ability. Okay. What do we got? During each one stack of battle type, whenever K uses the skill, at three stacks, all stacks are consumed, granting either Empowered Evasion, Aegis, or Fleet. Random Alley for two turns. We're weakened right now. Okay. So, if you do friend, I think I do that to one of these guys. I can only do it to this guy. Okay, let's do it. Take this! Um, did the Broodmother just take damage? I think so. We're gonna move up here. You know, we're gonna... In this bonus action, let's yet. do it. And then shoot this guy. Take this! Dodged it, but I think it was still worth it doing. Alright, I think we're good. I'm glad they're going for the guy with the shields. That's something. I 
my shields are decreasing That's rapidly, but... Okay, so now... Okay, so these have cooldowns. I was not expecting that. Okay. And might as well go ahead and do pinpoint strike here and try to get rid of... This guy, because he has less health. For honor. Total whiff. You're bad at this video game. Um, can't really do much. Good move, but why? Here we are. Dust cannon, man. Wow, that hit everybody. Let us strike. Right. Well, pinpoint strike is always available. So these ones are special attacks. Okay. Can't do finishing attacks because you can only do it if the target's below forty percent health, and nobody in range has that particular option. Okay. How about this? You attack this guy. Okay, there you go. That's good. He's sundered too. And that'll do for now. Okay. Man, to give him more shields. Inspire. Um, you can't actually attack. Need another guy here. Okay, so what I should do then is back the hell up. Okay, get me behind line of sight there, and then let's inspire you. Um, there's no obstruction in the way? What are you talking about? Command, maybe? There you go. Right at you! Okay, that got him a lot more shields. He'll be able to just take damage then. Griffith might make a good tank. So they're gonna attack him, that's fine. Oh, that really reduced his shields by a lot. I did something like 400 before. Yeah, that was a hell of a... Oh, because he's weakened, he's taking more damage. That's what it is. Yeah, the weakened is definitely hurting. Okay, we need to take these guys out. So, okay, can you shoot this guy? Or this guy. Though, I'd be kind of worried about shooting through Griffith there. Okay, instead. Take this! There you go. And he got weakened. Battle Tide worked. I don't think you want to move. I think we're good for where we are. And the shields are gone. For great justice! Alright. We can do the Crescent Strike again. I think that's a good idea. There you go. Killed well both of them there. And let's try to get around to the Broodmother. I don't know. Going right up to her is probably not the best idea. Let's stay where we are right now. Is she going to attack? Okay. It hurt. Let's go. Okay, so probably want to fly shields to Griffith. And we don't have any ranged attacks, but yeah, so then that's just as it is. Griffith can't actually get over there right now? What the hell? Could have done it before, but not now. Well, at the very least, we can come up here and then maybe charge. Yeah, dynamic entry will let you do that. Okay. Oh, wow. Broodmother just died. May your gods take you. I thought he, that would have an immense amount of health, but that did not happen that way. Okay, well, that's fine. That worked. I think part of not always approve your decision during text adventure. Remember the next time you solve some questionable dilemma. Okay. What is this place? An armory? Well, well. I think you should look at this, sire. Sire? Sire. Uh, what? That... Uh Okay, coming. What did you find? Wait, a sketch of House Lauren's family tree? That's exactly what we need! Oh, but it's incomplete. Damaged. It's a start, no? What do you mean? Look at it as one looks at a foundation. With this, you get a tangible base to build upon. Questions to answer, people to look for, names to check. A direction, so to speak. Which is exactly what we need right now. 
I am sure that eventually we will be able to fill the blanks ourselves. Griffith is very, very boisterous. Kind of like it. Kind of need that in the party, I think. Uh, you're right. Let's show this to the girls, Griffith. Agreed. And as unenthusiastic as they were, let us hope they have cleaned up the main hall. I don't know, Elaine might, but there's no way Gwen did anything. I'm sure Grandfather would nag them to death otherwise. Oh, by the way, before we go... This seems out of place. It does, yeah. Indeed. It does not resemble any of the other armors around the castle. Thoughts? It seems Lord Amarian in origin. Sun symbols everywhere. Plenty of ornamentations. Highly impractical. Perhaps used for ceremonial reasons. Highly impractical, says the guy with the frickin' lion roar on his shoulder. In all honesty, it is hard to tell sometimes. Lordemar's knights like it gaudy. Lordemar? The kingdom of Lordemar to the east? Militant sun worshippers? The very same, yes. Why would a Lordemarian armor be locked in here? We're in Rashtil. That's far, far away. A gift from a king, perhaps. Hmm, could be. I uh, think we should do something with it? If it doesn't involve Lady Gwen pawning it off for money, then yes. I was thinking more along the lines of main hall decoration, moving it somewhere more presentable. I do not see why not. All right, hop to it. Sometimes I think you and your sisters are more alike than you imagine, young master. Yeah, how is he going to move all that armor himself without, say, getting inside of it? There's no way you're going to put that armor in by yourself. How is that supposed to work? Okay. Well, that'll be this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This has been Regalia of Men and Monarchs. We're just barely in the tutorial. We'll, we'll get there eventually. We've almost got to the actual management part of the game. Anyway, I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.